I know a bit about the Yag. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron... ...are just friends. I believe you made it clear that I was, as you humans say, taken. You know, I didn't come down here just to talk about Data. Look, about the kiss. We just finished the fight. I miss you, but it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. I've got fond memories of the last time you put pressure on me. <laughs> so do I. Why don't you come to the Normandy for drinks? I'd like that. Good. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although he did ask if you and I would be acting out scenes from some vid called Vanya. Of course he did. Huh. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwas. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. You can't get back everything you lose, but sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, that was the plan. How are you actually doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. If this all ends tomorrow, what happens to us? I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. Goddess, you were dead. I got better. This time, but you're going to leave again. When your team is ready, you'll leap through the Omega-4 relay. I spent two years mourning you. So if we're going to try this, I need to know you're always coming back. I don't know. That's a pretty big promise to make. Oh, is it? I have to have something special to come back to. I'm open to suggestions. How about... Mm. 
Thank you, Shepard, for the drinks and everything. Come back soon, Liara. Well, I'd say the romance has continued. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad that mission's done. That was fun, but a very glitchy mission altogether. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Alright, let's read these mission... messages... things. Still alive, Detective Vanya. Greetings, Commander. I am not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off, too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justicar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Vanya. Ilium Law Enforcement. That's cool. Let's go talk to Joker. He probably has a good line or two. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Uh, you're not going to talk about Liara, huh? That's it for now. See you, Commander. Lame sauce. Okay, well, we might as well go talk to Garrus, since he has something to talk about. And then I suppose that'll be it for this set of videos. Because I'm pretty sure nobody else is going to have anything to talk about. Excuse me. I guess Garrus is opening up his loyalty mission. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs. Told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job. Then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Alrighty, well we got his loyalty mission. That was quick and easy. Let's go see if uh, Kasumi has anything to say about Liara. I guess we could probably talk to Samara too, since she's relatively new.
There you are. I have to say, that Jacob, mm, he seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for kleptomania. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Nothing interesting from Kasumi. That sucks. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Jesticars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Jesticars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. That's cool. Let's see. Tally might have something to talk about. Kind of doubt it, but we'll go check anyway.
Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Everybody else should be pretty well done talking for now, so go back up to the CAC. Actually, I want to go to the captain's cabin because I want to see if those dog tags are an item we can select that Leara gave us. I assume they are. I guess not, I'm not seeing them. Hmm. Alrighty then. Back to the CIC. anything yet? No, not really. Alright, I'll make a permanent save. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the Get Old Gamer. This has been more chilling out with Mass Effect 2 on Sarah Shepard's Adventures. We've gotten through the Shadow Broker DLC missions with Liara and managed to continue the romance with Liara as well. That's awesome. Anyways, Next time, we'll go back to Ilium and see about uh, getting the assassin. Stay tuned for that. Bye for now.